What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Unite. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are hopping onto that rank ladder in the master tier. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel or just new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys to everybody who supports me as a content creator. But you guys heard that right. Yep, your boy just hit master tier in the rank ladder which is amazing it took me a little bit considering i grinded this game when it first came out and then i kind of stopped playing for a little bit and then the brand new update came out and i'm back on my grind been grinding this game been having tons of fun with it now that it's released on mobile i can play it on the go but i really don't play ranked on the go i really like to have my controller in hand so i'm like ready having uh probably the best opportunity to win with a controller it's so much easier to play than the phone but i use the phone to actually play like uh to get my daily rewards or just play the quick matches to actually finish up some events but before we hop into the battle today i want to go over the super item enhancers this actually leads me to a question of the day let me know in the comment section down below what items did you use your super item enhancers on considering i used two of mine so far so i have one left and the two items that i actually used mine on is the buddy barrier and the focus band two of the best items in this game you cannot go wrong with uh using your super item enhancers on the buddy barrier or the focus band and then i leveled this thing up to 20 with my item enhancer considering i have 1200 but i have one more left and i really don't know what item i want to do i'm really leaning towards the scope lens kind of want to do the uh muscle band as well but the scope lens really benefits from being level 30 out of or the most out of every single item so i'm really leaning towards that maybe might do the razor claw considering razor claw is actually really really, really good now but we'll definitely see but i definitely want to know your guys' answers in the comment section down below but let's head over to our unite battles let's hop into some rank battles and let's show you guys that i'm actually in the master tier before we actually head over here if i head over to the rank tab right here look at your master tier with 1219 medals i really do not know what the medals do i played like a few battles in master ball tier i think i played like one or two i know i won one and i lost one but I think the more medals you get, it means the higher you are. But it says I'm not ranked, so I'm a little confused on it. So if you guys know the ranking system for that, definitely help your boy out. Let me know in the comment section down below. But for today's video, we're hopping into two battles, showcasing this tier, and trying to showcase it to its fullest potential. Let's get rolling here for our first battle in this Master Ball tier. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win. I was able to actually lock my main Greninja. Nobody else was playing jungle, so I've usually been playing Phil a lot for uh solo queuing and it's been a lot of fun because i get to been testing out new pokemon and been using different lanes so i've been very versatile with my pokemon but nobody was playing jungle so i was just like why not play my main hop into this jungle area and try to catch ourselves a win because this is really where grand ninja thrives i play him in the top lane sometimes but i really don't like him as much as i do in the jungle i'd rather go with say somebody like cinderace in that top lane it's just a lot better all around but these are the items i'm rocking you guys saw them early on in the intro we're rocking the muscle band the focus band as well as the buddy barrier i think they are like top three items for greninja they're super super strong and they just work really really well with them especially the focus band and buddy barrier they really work with any single pokemon in this game which is really really great but like i said i've been rocking greninja a lot to push master ball tier and i've also been rocking cinderace ever since the new buff for him he's got his uh, flame charge the cooldown is reduced that is really really great so i can dash out of more situations and have that move out more often and his Pyroball is one of the moves I actually use. Got a damage increase and it's cooldown reduced. So you can hit harder with it and hit more with it because it's cooldowns reduced. So it's really, really good. And I think Cinderace is uh, back at like A to S tier now. He's really, really good. And his basic attack hits super, super fast when you're high level. So you're level like 14, 15 late game. His basic attack is just constantly hitting. It's like an automatic gun, dude. It's insane. It is nutty. But dropping into our first battle for this video, let's get ourselves a win. I just love solo queuing. And playing the jungle. I think it is the best way to push uh, high ranks. I really do. Considering when you're solo queuing, it is tough to get like good teammates sometimes. But when you're in the jungle, you're kind of controlling the battle. So you're kind of just playing by yourself. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. So the jungle really controls the battle. So if you're playing good, your team's usually playing good. So that's why I really like solo queue with the jungle. But let's get rocking here. Let's take out this Ludi Colo here. And of course I missed my bubble. Of course I missed my bubble. That's a little rough that I missed the bubble. Considering the bubble would have saved us like two seconds there. Which seconds in time matter, matters matters more than you think in in uh in Pokemon Unite. Set him here and then go over these core fish. And what I like to do here is I kind of like to uh just get both these core fish. And once I get both these core fish, I turn into a frog here, which is huge. Then I like to see which lane is kind of struggling and go help them out. Usually I'll head over to the top lane because the bot lanes are usually bulk your Pokemon that can kind of handle themselves a little bit more. But now that I'm a frog here, which works out perfectly, I can just head over here and kind of wait for the bees or wait to maybe uh, get a kill here. I kind of just sit here, wait to the 850 mark. And there is some Pokemon over here, but again, I'm going to just wait for the bees. Unless I see them pull back and they're struggling. I'm going to actually sneak up here, and they're actually dominating here. Here comes the Charmander, so I'm actually coming after him. Kind of get after these guys. See if we're going to maybe pick up KO here. We might be able to. There's one KO. We can just bubble here. Look at that, yo. Look at that. 
Beautiful, beautiful double KO for me. I'll cash in my Pokeballs, get some XP, get some HP, and then we'll slide over to the Bs over here, baby. Yes, sir, yo. What a play. What a start in the jungle for jeans, baby. What a start in the jungle for jeans. Getting after that way. I'll let them have the best between, and then we'll go roll out. They can have that core fish as well. Just so they can get some more XP, because I'm going to roll out here. I'm going to head to the spot lane here. Well, not the bot lane. I'm going to head back to the jungle area. Kill that core fish. Grab this thing. Dude, I have like a whole setup for this. And then once I get these two jungle enemies again, I am now Grand Ninja. Which is super quick. It's like two minutes, I'm already Grand Ninja. We're rolling out here. This is why I absolutely love the jungle with them. Play that one perfectly. Got a great start for the team. And now our next priority is going to be getting Drenno. That is our next priority. And I am going to head to the bottom lane after this. And I think the top lane can handle themselves. Where is the score bunny at? Is he in the bot lane now? Or is he over in that top lane getting kills? I really do not know where the score bunny's at. But I'm going to head over here. Go help these guys out. If the score bunny's here, I'm going to be upset. Yeah, what are you doing down here? I'm really confused. We can just light these dudes up. Not even going to lie. Look, I can get another KO here. Throw this at him. There's KO from him. Let's catch my 22 Pokeballs. Bang, bang, bang. We get some mean XP rolling out here. And I'm actually just going to head... Oh, what you want, fool? Oh, what you want, dog? What you doing? Oh, I dashed the wrong way. That could have been an easy KO for us. That could have been an easy KO for us. I'm going to just light him up doing that. Just keep teeing off, man. Keep teeing off on these guys. Dip that way and just throw this. We are lighting these dudes up. Can I get a little bit of help here? I might die here. I should get some HP. I should be able to take out this Charmeleon. Actually, maybe not. Oh, my lord, yo. Oh, my lord. Look at the HP I'm on. Oh, my lord. Dreno has spawn, so I'm actually just going to double down on these berries here. Take out you. I do have my Unite move, which is great. Yo, level 9 here. Drenal just spawned, and I have my Unite move. I'm rolling super, super strong out here. So we should be able to get this Drenal no problem here. I actually want to get after this Venusaur here. Should be able to take him out by dashing up on him. I might actually send my Unite move. Maybe not. Keep teeing off on these guys. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Throw that. I'm going to have to pop my Unite move there. Just so I can stay alive here. And there we go. Get some KOs. And now we should roll back here. And be able to get Drenal just fine here. Can this Lucario just help me take out this Drenol? Because we get Drenol, yo, we're thriving here. Look at that big old Drenol. We get our shield, yo. Dude, what a play by me, dude. I've been playing my HP super, super well. Been learning Grand Ninja's HP really, like, a lot lately. Considering he just got his, uh, H or his uh, max HP nerf. So I've been really trying to, like, stay alive a bit longer and use my moves to my advantage so I survive. Just like how I used my Unite move when I was super, super low. And I realized that I, if I didn't send it at that exact moment, I would have died. So everything worked out perfectly for us. It worked out perfectly for us. We got the Dreadnought as well, which gives our team XP. And we also have Rotom right there. I should actually try to go cash in my points. Which I might go do in this bottom lane as they're defending this Rotom. Let's slide over there. Plus, I'm a higher level than most of these guys. So I should just be able to roll out here. Get a few KOs. Got Water Shrek and Plus already. Ooh, baby. Cooldowns reduce. We're doing more damage with it. Just rocking out strong with it. But yo, I got 40 Pokeballs and I really need to go. We'll just send it. Yeah, let's just send it here. I'm not cashing these 40 Pokeballs. We're golden. Yes, sir. Big 40 Pokeballs. And the Lucario wasted a move there. Should be able to dip here. I want to eject button back a little bit so I can survive because this guy can actually send uh, his Unite move, which he just did. I'm kind of scared of that Lucario with his Unite move. Not even going to lie. I dip back a little bit. We did, and we get that KO on him. Oh my lord, yo. Jesus, bodying people out here. Here's this guy right here. He wants a smoke. He can get all the smoke. He can get all the smoke. We take him out there. There's a triple KO for me. I'm going to die to the Pikachu, though. I'll take that all day, yo. Big old triple KO. Your boy is thriving. And I'm totally fine with that, considering I kind of want to head back to base. Ooh, Dreadnought is spawning again. Uh, let's see how we're thriving, yo. Eight and two. The carry, yo. My back. My back right now. But hey, match ain't over yet. Match ain't over yet. Because you guys know these matches could go either way. That's a straight fact. If they get this Drenol, we they're, they're right back in the game. So I'm going to tell everybody, yo, let's head to this bottom path. Let's get rolling here. I don't know if I should head straight to the bottom path or kill this jungle enemy. I'm actually going to kill this jungle enemy real quick. There's a nice kill by the Splastoids. Let's take out this jungle enemy. I do have my ult move ready to roll. I should be able to take out both you guys and roll out towards uh, this Drenol. To the Drenol. Because, yeah, we get this Drenol here, which I think we should be. Everyone's kind of like surrounding it. If we can get the Shrenol here, that's huge for us. And then all we have to do is defend Zapdos, kind of just play it that way. Beautiful, Lucario finish that off. Thank you very much. And I'm not even going to go for kills right now. I'm going to play for this win. I'm just going to get my levels up. I'm just going to go get my, my levels up here. Because nobody wants to take this. But, yo, that's such a huge part. Like, people think, like, oh, I got to go up there. I got to get the kills. I got to do all that to win the match. Like, no. 
you should be farming your enemies. Like, look at all these wild enemies over here. It's just thousands of XP to get your levels up. And once you get the levels up, you control the battle end game, which is the only part that matters with the Zapdos. And that's how you win. Just farm those wild enemies, man. That's exactly how you're going to win the game. But obviously, I got some KOs early on, but look, look at me now. I know I'm like a high level, but I need to be higher. I really do need to be higher than everybody in order to win this game as a jungler. But there we go. Take out all those enemies. Now I can actually go uh, defend this lane right here. There's like all five of them, so I might just might move in here. I'm coming, boys. Daddy Jeans is coming. Daddy Jeans is coming. Unite move, baby. Pop that. Pop that. Pikachu, get out of my face. Let me take you guys out. You want the smoke? You want the smoke? You guys want the smoke? I'm coming for you. Oh, I, dis I dipped the wrong way, dude. I actually probably would have had trouble kill there. I, get I think it won. Hopefully it cuts down this way. No, he doesn't, but... We're thriving here. I do have 50 Pokeballs, which I might try to go score here. Last week's about to put up some points. I'm going to go score. I am going to go score. Because if I score here, I'm going to be level 15. And I can take out Tower. I think someone's in the bush. Yep. Yep, I might be dead. I'm totally dead. I can't even move. I can't... What? What just happened? <laughs> Yo, they were all waiting for me there. Yo, I... There was nobody there. And I think I saw somebody in the bush. Next thing I know, four people come out from every angle of their area after me. Just crazy. Dreadnought's not going to matter because it's only going to be three seconds and no one's going to be able to kill that in three seconds. But we're, we're le our levels are looking super, super well here. I might be able to get level 15 by the time Zapdos spawns, which could be enormous. I saw I am going to try to do that. Beans is going to try to get that level 15. Take you out. And there's level 15, so wild enemies do not matter for me anymore. So at this instance, you know your boy is going towards Zapdos. We're in the lead. All we got to do is defend Zapdos or either get the KO. Unless they start scoring some points. I might just... Oh, you son of a biscuit, dude. Dip up here, yo. What you want, fool? Yo, someone help me out here. Get him out of here, dude. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Wait, dip up here. And this. I might die. I'm gonna die. God dang it, man. God dang it. That's a huge death. Do I need you guys to have Unite moves? Send them if you do. Blastoids, right, you gotta have a Unite move. Pop it. Pop it, Blastoids. Oh, no. Lucario, you gotta have a Unite move. Buy me time. Buy me time. Have a Unite move. He does. That's huge. That's huge. That buys a little bit of time. They deal damage. They're gonna get zapped us. We're gonna lose this match, bro. We're gonna lose! What you mean? We really lost. Oh, he's dead. I'm gonna have to rush up on this guy. Come here. Get him. Get him. I'll let him score. Now we go score. We gotta go score, people. They just put up 200 points. We gotta go score. I'm gonna dip to the spot lane. You guys go over there. Oh my lord. We're gonna lose. Pikachu's right here. Pikachu, get out of my face. Yeah, make him dip back. I'm gonna head straight here. 30 points. Hopefully, this, if this Blastoise can score, that could be huge for us. I gotta be able to score here as well. Come on, hold that down. No. I get through this wall. No, man. No way. Anybody scoring over here? Come on, Blastoids. You gotta have a Unite move. Pop it. We need Blastoids to score here. I'm not surrendering. I'm not surrendering because I actually do not know the score, but I think we are losing. No way we lose. After that crazy match we had, we lose to Zapdos. That's how crazy this game is, man. This game is nuts. We legit just lost. We definitely lost, right? You lose. Oh my lord! What you mean? That's crazy, man. Yo, we played an amazing jungle game there. We played an absolute amazing jungle game. Look at us. We carried our team 10 and 5 there. Oh my lord. And we lost because of Zapdos. That's how crazy this game is. That's why I think Zapdos definitely needs a nerf. Because we dominated the whole game and we lost because they got a couple lucky KOs at the end due to them stacking up their Unite moves. It's just crazy to me. Still a little upset we lost that first battle. We dominated. We played so well with that Grand Engine. We really did. We started off super, super strong with a double KO early on. Then we were able to get both Dreadnoughts, but we just lost Zapdos in the end, which is basically this game, man. It is basically this game. But I'm going to be rocking Cinderace in the second battle here. I haven't played him in a good bit well, on video, but I've been playing him off stream, off camera, and been loving him so much. He recently got the buff, so I'm with him all day. We're going to lock him in here. The items I'm actually rolling with is going to be the same items I use for Grand Engine, which is the Muscle Band, the Focus Band, and the Buddy Barrier. Cannot go wrong with those items. Cannot go wrong with them. But our team's looking really, really strong here. With me and Eldegoss in the top lane, we got the Absol in the uh, Central, who is super, super good. 
That Pokemon can get bulked up in the jungle area. She can carry us in victory. She really can. Then our bottom lane, we had the still super strong Lucario after the nerfs. Still an absolute beast. And then Venusaur, who I think Venusaur is very slept on. I think he's a really, really good Pokemon. Especially if you're a Venusaur who can land solar beams. Mwah. You're just a beast. You're just a beast. Because that solar beam can do like half your health. It's insane how much damage solar beam can do. But it is easily dodgeable. So if you can make reads on people and hit them hard, it's super, super good. It is really, really good. But we're 0-1 today. We got to win this one. We got to win this one in the Master Tier. But Cinderace is, oh my god, he's so good. He is so good. Just wait till I have him in the late game. Just watch how fast his basic attacks it. He just keeps firing him. Just constant. He's just constant. But we're going to lock Ember right off the rip here. Get rolling with it, Ember. Love Ember. Early on, just throws the burns on Pokemon. We get a save pump kill here. No, he gets the save pump kill. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. But I, I really do like having Eldegoss on my team. I really do. Eldegoss is just a great support mod. Grants shields and all that stuff. It's really, really good all around. Let's roll over here to the core fish. He knows what's up. And yo, what are you doing? Try to get rid of this Pokemon. I got you. I might have to check button back here. I think also keeps healing me up. I made a big mistake. I made a big mistake. I thought I was able to get that Jigglypuff. Even if I was going one for one. Big mistake from Jeans. I'll take that one to the chin. That one's on me, boys. Sorry, Eldegoss. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a man. And I, and I admit my mistakes. I admit them all day. Kramer, it's really, really good. Gotta watch out for Kramer. That flame charge up there. They still haven't got their APOM yet. And oh, yo, our Absol's here. Yes, sir. That's huge. We should be able to push this thing under tower and get the KO here. Let's out of here. Beautiful. For my five points. Yo, I thought APOM was an enemy coming in hot. I was getting kind of scared of it, but I'm going to go take out all the wild enemies. Yo, Absol. Thank you, Absol. Coming in big for us. Really, really like you, Absol. Really, really like you, Absol. That was huge. Thank you, Absol. I should be able to take out this Corefish right here and get my level five, turn into my lovely reboot. Then I need to get some HP. Take this thing out here. I'm coming, LD. Yeah, make him dip back. LD also need to push that. We gotta get some HP. We have to get some HP here. I should have Citrus Berry shown here. Which I really dig. And the Haunter does kill our Bulbasaur. Our Bulbasaur and our Absol. Getting after you. Like I said, yo, Absol can rip. Lucario with a big kill. Loving it. Loving it with a big two kills, baby. You love to see it. Three kills. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Lucario. Teen off here. I dash up on you. I'm getting teed off on. Do I have my check button? Get back a little bit. Put my burn on you. Keep dipping back. I'm able to get you. I'm sleepy, yo. You lucky, yo. Our right, Alora Absol's here again. Yo, Absol's so good, man. Absol teen off. Get him out of here, yo, dude. Absol loving it. I got that kill though, but assist to the Absol, man. There we go. Take out the tower. Yo, we rolling here. Let's head, let's head to that bot lane. Let's go get Drenal. It's Drenal time. Let's roll. Pyro Ball. Yo, we ripping. We out here, baby. Got my Pyro Ball. Damage is increased. We're definitely going to need this, need this Absol. No, head to the bottom lane, Absol. I'll try to help him out. No, I need to head to this bot lane. We have only one person down there. Definitely got to head there. I'm coming. Skipping these enemies. You got some massive amount of damage. Got some more damage over on this Pokemon. Now I'm bound it. Need some help. Oh my god. Need some help here. Some Pyro Bomb. Deal some nice damage. This Lucario is just too scary, man. But we got our squad here. Eldegoss, Grant, and Shield, yo. Oh my god, yo. Eldegoss is so good for team fights. It really is. Oh my lord, yo. Oh my lord! What you mean? Bro, dude, Gengar's a beast. Thank god the Absol took out the Gengar. Just so strong Gengar is. But, dude, like I said, dude, Absol's so strong. I definitely want to learn Absol. I feel like Absol can be really good. I might trust my teammates here. To just get that journal. And I'm going to take out these jungle enemies while they're here. There's an Absol teeing off now. There's Absol. Look at her go. Then look at her go, baby. <laughs> Yo, dude. Love you, Absol. They're going to be able to get Dreadnought. I'm cool with that all day. I might go sneak up there and get Rotom in the meantime. They don't get Dreadnought. I'm going to cry a little bit. Dreadnought should be instant. It should, you should be dead. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Dude, Absol. I got to learn Absol. Such a good Pokemon all around. Got all these bees up here. Let's take out these bees first. I might actually go... Actually, I can't score my points. We don't have the close one. I thought we had the close one. If I can take out all of you guys. I have my shields still ripping on me. I can take out both you guys. 
get all that XP, and then we'll take out the one and only Rotom. Give me this guy. One thing I, I liked about uh, fighting uh, Rotom or like Dreadnought by myself with Greninja is I have Water Shrekken, so I can just constantly get, be getting HP, which is great for me all around. But there's some extra Pokeballs laying on the ground here. We're, we're up to 40, so if I can get this tower here, cash in some Pokeballs, be huge for us. Oh, jeez, man. Dude. He's so good. He's so good. 1v1, you're just not beating him. Bro, he rolls up. Dip. Half my health. I dip back. Dip again. Half my health. I'm like, bro, what you mean? What you mean? I'm heading back into this jungle area. Absol's pretty boosted. I'm just gonna get all these. I'm gonna get all these. Should be thriving here. We should definitely, uh... Do work well here for this win. Cinderace is ripping, dude. The Gengar is just so scary, man. You guys know the power of him. But our Absol, y'all. I want to see how many kills this Absol has. Look at him go. How many kills does our Absol have? 12, yo. I'm 1 in 5, which ain't too bad. It ain't too bad. It ain't spectacular, but I'm playing some good Pokemon Unite here with my teammates. I don't mind. I'll let my Absol carry all day. There's these guys. I'm going to Pyro Blast here. Can I kill you? She absolutely gets a kill here. Absolutely gets another kill there. We are just teeing off on these guys. I get the kill here. I get that one. Yay, I got one. Yay. <laughs> I should actually cash my Pokeballs. It's probably my best bet here. I get 50 here. Hopefully they don't hop on me. Need to back a little bit. Get these bees out the way. Take all that XP. I wish I really could have uh, scored them, but I'm going to head to that bot lane. Try to get that Dreadnought. Pop. Take that. And I'm heading to the bot lane. I'll let my teammates know. Yo, Jeans is heading to the bot lane. Yo, chill on me. Dude, just... Son of a biscuit. My lord, yo. Goddamn Gengar, man. <laughs> He's just coming out of nowhere after me. And he used my eject button, yo. And yo, we got Dreadnought. He didn't even need me. He didn't even need me there. Get out that suit. What the... What you mean, yo? Dude, this Gengar has my number all day. He's just coming after me and me only. He's like, yo, Jeans is recording. Let me get after him. He is teeing off of me. So tough. Two and eight. I'm, I'm thinking how I'm playing. Gengar hits nine and one. I feel bad for him. Super, super good Pokemon. He's playing really well. But I, th I think I think the boy's going to have this one. This Absol dude is Absol 15, bro. 15. Like, he ain't even in the jungle. So he's just like, yo, Jeans, you, you can have all that, actually. And I'm like, thanks, brother. I'm like, thanks, brother. I'm going to be able to roll out and get level 14 here. Of course, I missed my power ball. Yo, Cinderace is so good. He's so good. Able to rip. Look how fast my basic attack hits. You're on fire. This is nuts. I'm level 14. Look at look at look how quick I'm hitting. Okay, get out of here. You kill me under tower, I'm gonna cry. You know what? Screw you, man. Screw you. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of him. <laughs> Trying to kill me. I just altered him on like one HP. I'm sick of him, bro. Get him out of my game. We don't want him here. We don't want him here. Wants to come after me like that. Get him out of my face. Not dealing with that. Not dealing with that one bit. <laughs> it's too funny. Uh, I am going to try to score my uh, 50 points before Zapdos spawns. Or actually after Zapdos spawns so I can get the uh, I can get the double boost. God dang Gengar, bro. <laughs> what should I do it now? I have a chance to do it now, so I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it now. Son of a biscuit, bro. Comes out of, like, dude, out of nowhere. Out of absolutely nowhere. Like, you you have no idea where he's at. He comes in. Like, dude, not even on the screen. That, yo, Absol just killed him. That's, that's beautiful. Absol. Love you. I'm loving this Absol, bro. This Absol. Where you at, Absol? How you doing, yo? She's so full. Absol! No, dude, leave him alone. Leave him alone, Absol. Leave him alone. Now he's attacking Zapdos. So I'm coming in hot. He's just throwing a big KO there. Get rid of this thing. I swear, if they take this. There we go. That's all ours. That's GG's. That is GG's. Yo, Absol. I'm in love with you. I'm going to marry this Absol. This Absol just carried us to victory. I think I only died to Gengar. Opposed to Team Surrenders. Loving it. Yo, he's here. Where is he? Yo, he just hit me. There he is. He's down there. Yo, that buttery biscuit, man. That son of a gun. That son of a gun. We were able to secure Zapdos there. Put an all-around great battle there. Like I said, I think the only Pokemon that killed me was the Gengar. It's just hilarious. He came after me. He was coming at my neck. 3-9. Really like that one. Gotta give a thumbs up to this Absol. Gotta give a thumbs up to this Absol, yo. 28-7?
Good job, man. Good job, yo. Absol is amazing. I definitely gotta do a video on Absol. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to learn Absol. Showcase a video of her, how to play her in the jungle, and the best items for her. Great set of battles in the master tier today. We went one and one, lost our first battle, which we actually played better in as Greninja. I think we had like 10 kills, dominated in the jungle, played super, super well, but just lost to Zapdos in the end. And in the second battle, we actually won playing the top lane with Cinderace and getting absolutely carried by that Absol. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.